Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to show you our setup that we made for our trot line. Uh, looks like we took one inch PVC, capped the top, and then cut pieces about eight inches long, put a T on, put a piece of inch and a quarter over the top of a piece of one inch. So that rolls and helps roll when the chain hits and everything like that. Go down, I drilled through, boom. We have clips that we can take out if we want. Take our clip out if we want. We can remove the whole plastic piece. I got an eight foot two by four, just with uh, mounted to the sides, just with these with these clamps. And uh, I took a one by six, put it sideways on top, just for a little extra support. That thing ran like a charm yesterday. So I just clamp it on my boat. Goes underneath my boat there. Clamps tight. And that's uh, really all you need to hold the trot line. It cost us nearly anything. I had the lumber at home. We paid, I think, $3. $3 for the parts. And then you got one inch tees, one inch caps. We're pretty cheap when it comes to making our crabbing stuff sometimes. So we made a crabbing net here. And, uh, We'll take a look at it. I'll show you what we did. So we found a roll of this wire in our in our back shed. So we used it and uh, found an old minnow net we had that had a fabric, real tight net on there. We cut that out of there. Got our hog pliers, crimp pliers, our thing of crimps. And basically we just formed the wire, formed it to be a good good shape net that I like, you know, there you go. Got a nice pocket there so the crabs can fall. And then we took our hog crimps and just crimped it all the way around and, and wrapped it. So we got a good, good sturdy, you know, not gonna lose its shape too easy. Good net for nothing. We already had the stuff. So you can do the same thing, pretty simple.